world of amazing animal mothers. Run for your lives! What's the matter, Henry? No time to talk. We gotta get out of here. Is someone after you? Worse! Earthquake? Flood? Plague of locusts? No! Worse! My mom's come to visit! Hello! Henry! Henry, this place is a mess! <sighs> a mother's work is never done. She's right, Henry. This place is a mess. Yeah, I know. What a party! But what have you got against your mom, Henry? Mothers are real important. Yeah, right. All they do is sleep. Like that lioness. There's obviously a lot you don't know about moms, Henry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This cheetah mom not only has to catch food for herself, but also for her cub. Duh! Well, of course she does. Her cub can't catch food yet. Yes, but it's very hard work. Some mothers suckle their babies for more than a year. And kids with sharp teeth don't make it any easier. Yeah, but most of the time, moms just lie around cuddling. They don't just cuddle. What about all the cleaning they have to do? Yeah, right. Like she isn't just sitting around. But she was incubating her eggs. That's her excuse. Dealing with young animals is very hard work. Believe me, Henry. No way! It's not hard. Oh, yes it is. Oh, no it isn't. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. Is not. Is. Not. Oh, Henry! Oh, come on. Look at that tiger mom, just lazing around again. She may look like she's got it easy, but she hasn't. Feeding the cubs is a full-time job. Yeah, right. It takes a lot of energy for her to produce the milk her cubs need to grow big and strong. She also has to keep them safe from danger until they're big enough to look after themselves. I'm telling you, Henry, being a mother is really hard. I'd like to see you have a baby, Henry. Okay. How hard can it be? Hmm, now, where do I get a baby from? I've seen them in shopping carts. But I never found which aisle they were in. You don't get babies from supermarkets, Henry. You don't? Hmm, okay. What we need here is the phone book. Okay, store, store. Stork. You don't get them from storks, either. No? Oh, all right. So where do babies come from, then? <laughs> well, uh, you see, it's, it's like this. Uh, uh, let's look at some animals. Maybe that'll give you some idea. Okay. Now, like many animals, porcupine moms carry their babies inside them till they're ready to be born. And the babies have spikes, too? Sure do. Excuse me, but that must hurt. No, Henry. Their spikes are soft. They don't harden until after they're born. Phew! Birds and most reptiles lay eggs, but some chameleons actually hatch their eggs inside them. Then they wait ten more weeks before giving birth to a baby that's ready to face the world on its own. What? She just lets that little thing fend for itself? That's right. You see, he doesn't need mom's help. But moms are supposed to look after their kids. I think you're starting to get the idea now, Henry. But while birth looks easy for a chameleon, it isn't that simple for most other animal mothers. 
Bats, like the gray-headed fruit bat from Australia, have to give birth while hanging upside down. She does what? Not only does she keep her baby inside her during a four-month pregnancy, she then has to fight the forces of gravity when she gives birth. to get amazingly squelchy. It's a perfectly natural thing. It's just the wrong way up. Oh, here it comes. Wait a minute. If she's upside down, won't the baby fall out of the tree? No, Henry, she catches the baby in her wings. Whoa. Luckily, baby bats are born with strong claws and cling tightly to their mother's fur immediately. They can even hang on while mom goes off flying. Excuse me, that's amazing! It sure is, Henry. You see, having a baby isn't so easy after all. Okay, so having a baby is hard work, but the rest of motherhood is easy. It's just hanging around. Oh, good grief. Hey, Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us what being an animal mother is all about. Oh, right. <sighs> Here goes. My report is on how lazy mothers are. Look at the lioness. She has a real easy time of things. She does? Sure. The mother lions put all their cubs in a nursery so they can go off and do their own thing. How am I doing so far? I'm not sure yet. What is their thing? I'm getting to that. Sheesh. Give a lizard a break, huh? So, the first thing the lionesses do when they drop the kids off at their nursery is get out the coffee and cookies and get on the phone to all their friends and have a good gossip. Then they all meet up and have more coffee and more cookies and order plastic goods from mail-order catalogs. Not those kind of plastic goods. Yeah, those are the ones way more dull. Are you really sure, Henry? Are you kidding? Everyone knows this. Meantime, the fathers do the real work. Going to the office, buying the groceries, fixing the plumbing, while the mothers are all out shopping at the mall, playing bingo and getting their hair done. Then, after all that, they roll back home, tell their husbands they've had a real hard day, and curl up in front of the TV with more coffee and cookies, while their husbands bathe the kids, put them to bed, and wash all the dirty coffee cups and cookie plates. And then, when all the chores are done, and they've had their dinner, the lionesses tell their husbands they've got a headache and go to sleep. That's how easy being a mom is. And that's straight from the lizard's mouth. So, did I get an A? A Z would be more like it, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Actually, you've got it all backwards. It's the male lions that get to lie around, while the lionesses have to do all the work. Mother lions do leave their cubs in a kind of daycare, but only when they go off to hunt. All the male lion has to do is try and look big and scary to keep other lions out of his territory. That kind of sounds like hard work. Hunting is the real hard work, and that's something the moms have to do. It requires stealth, speed, lots of stamina, and above all, the cooperation of all the lionesses. They aren't always successful, but they've got to keep on trying, or else their cubs will starve. Woken up? <laughs> Just in time for dinner. Hey, what's he doing? The hungry male chases all the lionesses away from the kill. They have to wait until he's eaten. No, you mean that after all that work they have to wait till the lazy old male's had his turn? Yep, and even then they can't rest. Not when they've got playful cubs to look after. So, do you still think lionesses are lazy, Henry? Well... Maybe it wasn't the best example to use. No, Henry. 
That's what it's like for most animal mothers. <laughs> You'll see. She's hungry. Hey, do you think she likes some of this? Henry, I don't think you should do that. It's it's not your food. Yeah, yeah. Henry! She won't stay still. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm doing my best, okay? Oh. Hey, this isn't easy. Well, babies aren't easy, Henry. Moms have to work really hard just to find food for their kids. And they really hate snack nappers. I think she's pretty mad, Henry. Come on, Lizzie. We better get out of her way. Lots of animal moms have a really tough time feeding and protecting their kids. Puppet moms are no exception. Every year they come ashore to raise their chicks in burrows. Puppets? Burrows? You sure you don't mean rabbits? Whoa, kind of looks like a rabbit, too. It's a baby puffling. Puffling, eh? What sort of name is that for a kid? Hey, where's that mom going? She's gone fishing. It takes a lot of fish to feed a growing baby, so ten times a day she has to go way out to sea to look for meals. Sounds fishy to me. Uh-oh, who's this hanging around? Look out, baby bird! Danger! Don't worry about the chick, Henry. It's safe in its burrow. The Jaeger can't reach it. But you might want to warn Mom, because Jaegers often patrol these cliffs looking for puffins returning with fish. They attack the puffins and steal their fish. Oh, no! I can't what? I can't what? Oh, no! Missed! Oh, boy, that was close! Yes, but that's only one meal. Mom takes a risk every time she goes out to get food for her chick. I guess that is pretty dedicated. Not to mention brave. No, it's okay. You can mention it. Ah. 